Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I look so strange with no eye makeup on and like no mascara or nothing. I look a little crazy but there is a reason for that. In today's video we're going to be live swatching the new Kathleen Lights Times Colourpop Zodiac Pigments. So if you didn't know Kathleen Lights and Colourpop collabed once again. This is like their fifth or sixth collab I think. It's kind of crazy. They collabed again to create a new product from Colourpop or a new formula from Colourpop anyways. They created like these little pigments. I'm gonna open one up and show y'all. They look like this. They kind of remind me a lot of MAC pigments, like the way the packaging is set up. Super cute. I love like the little lights and sparkles around the outside of the uh, container and the rose gold cap. Super, super pretty. They did release 12 different pigments for the 12 Zodiac signs. Um, I did not purchase all 12 because I wasn't sure if I was going to like the formula of this product. And so I didn't want to spend the $70 to get all 12 in a bundle just to not like them or to not see myself using them every single day, you know? So I just bought five that kind of stood out to me the most or five that I thought like I would actually wear. And if I like the formula, I might go ahead and buy some more, but we're just gonna see in today's video how I feel about the formula and all that. So like I said earlier, we're going to be live swatching these pigments. If you don't know what live swatching is, um, I got this idea from that girl Shay XO. I live for her channel and her live swatching videos. I think there's so entertaining and so informational to watch what she does let's say she has like a 12 pan eyeshadow palette she will take each shadow and place it on her eye so you could see like how each shadow performs and then wipe it off and then do a new shadow on that eye again so incredibly amazing i can only imagine how raw and like red her eyelids get after these videos i'm about to find out with using these five pigments but major props to her i'm gonna of course link her channel down below for you guys because this video is inspired by her and i have to give credit where credit is due so of course her channel will be linked down below if you guys want to check her out i would highly recommend it i love her um but besides that let's go ahead and just jump into these swatches i don't think i mentioned this but these pigments do retail for six dollars each i did pick five of them up i got the maiden which is for um you virgos out there i got the ram which is for you aries i got the crab for you cancers i also picked up the bull which is for you tauruses and then the last one I picked up was the goat, which is for the Capricorns. So I'm going to go ahead and do lightest to darkest with the colors just because I want to play it safe. And just in case any of these do stay in my eyelids, I don't want that to compromise a swatch of another pigment. So we're going to start with this white one called the Maiden. Super pretty. Every glitter does come with like a little sifter right here so it can protect it. And also the walls in here are pretty tall so you don't have glitter like falling everywhere. So I'm going to use each color on both my eyes. I'm going to do this side my left side which is the dry raw pigment on top of my primed eyelids i did prime my eyelids with concealer and loose powder that is how i always prime my lids so i'm gonna use just the dry raw pigment with a brush on this side and then wet the pigment over here on my right side kathleen did say in her videos these are best to use wet of course but i did want to try to use them dry just to see how it was that way if you guys at home don't like to use shadows wet you don't have to if it still works so yeah so dry side over here wet side over here so i'm gonna take a flat fluffy brush and take the maiden pigment and just apply that to the left side of my face so i'm not getting a ton of like color payoff on this side but i am getting a ton of like white and blue sparkles i will get closer here in a second to show y'all so i don't know how well my camera is going to pick this up but i do have some sparkles over here not a ton of like base color but i also don't think this shadow is supposed to have a ton of base color or pigment not shadow sorry but yeah as you can see a ton of sparkles at least i hope you can see the ton of sparkles really pretty for like a light dusting of color okay and then for this side over here i'm gonna take a flat brush like this once again pick up some of that pigment and then spray my brush and I'm going to apply it over here. Oh yeah, you can definitely see more of a base color once you wet the brush. Okay, so here is the Maiden with a wet brush and here it is with a dry brush. Um, personally, I think it's pretty either way. I just think it depends how you want to wear it and use it. If you want like a super intense white uh, like foiled glitter look I would definitely use it with a wet brush like this but if you want just like a light dusting a sparkle on top of another eyeshadow uh, you could definitely apply it with a dry brush and I think it still shows up it's really pretty I did get some fallout over here which is kind of expected with loose pigments so just keep that in mind but yeah here is the maiden on both my eyes okay so our next loose pigment is called the crab guys look at that beautiful like blue purple duochrome shift I had to pick this color up the second I saw Kathleen swatch it I was like this is for all you cancers out there. My dad is actually cancer, so this made this uh, pigment even more special to me. So once again, I am going in with a dry brush over here on my left side. 
and again you can see like all the sparkles and you can see the blue purple shift in this one a lot it's just that there doesn't seem to be a super strong like base color like it's more like a light dusting when you apply it super dry or super dry completely dry still really pretty even without wetting it if you're someone that just wants to like, dust this shadow on and go I think you still totally could very pretty it's just not super like foiled and intense which I feel like it will be on the wet side so I'm gonna go ahead and do that eye now so another cool thing about this guy is that you can actually dump the glitter pigment into the cap because the cap is so like tall and then spray the inside of it to make it wet and then dip your brush in and apply it to your eyes it doesn't really matter how you use these pigments I feel like you can kind of use them in whatever way you want to and I feel like they're still gonna work let's apply this wet oh yeah already you can just see like the base color is so much more stronger once you wet it oh my goodness that is beautiful this looks like the nighttime ocean on my lid it's so pretty okay guys and here is the crab dry and wet apply to both eyes i love this color so much it's so pretty this reminds me so much of the little mermaid for some reason and i can't think of why i think maybe because her seashell bra is kind of like the same color as this pigment but oh my goodness i think it's so pretty and when the light catches it you see all those blue and purple and like seafoam green i think glitters oh it's just and again the dry side i mean you can see it and you can see all the glitters when the light hits it but i don't think it's as pretty as when you wet the shadow gorgeous just gorgeous you could also use the glitter glue inside wetting your brush but here's the thing as um i don't have a glitter glue Ugh. i thought i did and i was gonna use that instead of just applying this to my dry eye but i can't find it anywhere so i don't know where it went to maybe i never had it maybe i'm just making that up i don't know but yeah you could totally use glitter glue instead of just like a dry uh concealer and powder base but i'm working with what i got all right so my eyes are prepped and primed once again for the third time but we are now going to swatch the shade The Ram, which is for all you Aries out there. My mom is actually an Aries, so once again, this pigment was kind of, you know, a little special to me. And trust me when I say that woman is 100% an Aries. There is no doubt about it. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and pour some into this cap here once again. I'm going to take this flat, fluffy brush once again. I am wiping it off in between swatches. That way it doesn't, you know, contaminate with the other colors. So it's a clean brush every single time, but it is the same brush every time because I don't have like 80 of these so this color is the color I'm worried about uh, for staining my lids just because it's a bright pinky red color so I'm a little nervous about it this is also the color though that I was like most excited for because when I saw it swatched I was like I need that color like if there's one color I have to get in this entire zodiac line it's this color it's so beautiful and I can see myself actually using this quite often because I love like warm red coppery orange colors I think they're so pretty so I'm gonna take it on this brush and I'm gonna apply it to my lid All right, so here is the Ram pigment on my dry eyelid with no wet base. Just, you know, normal concealer and powder to prime my lids. Again, I think it's pretty and you can definitely wear it without wetting it. Um, I just think, once again, the base pigment, like the base color doesn't really shine through. If you wanted to make this like a topper to throw on top of like an already red or pink eyeshadow, I think that would be stunning, especially with all the gold and red and orange glitters that are in this pigment. Really pretty even with a dry brush and dry lid. Um, let's go ahead and try it on the wet lid side now though because I feel like that's where it's going to be like breathtaking. Alright and let's apply it. Oh boy. <laughs> My goodness. This. This is beautiful wet. Oh my god. I mean I know they're all beautiful wet but this is like a whole different color wet oh my goodness i need more of that okay so here is the ram dry versus wet there is no doubt in my mind that wet is a hundred and million ten percent better oh my god when the light hits it you see all those golden orange glitters just really shine through and the base color is such a nice bright pinky red it's breathtaking like and it definitely is a very good aries color like if there was any color in aries is this is it wow just breathtaking my goodness i don't even want to take this off my eyelid this is great all right so next up we have the fourth shade called the bowl which is for all you tauruses out there again this is a color when i saw i was like at the cart like i need that color asap i love green shades i needed to have that beautiful emerald green shade in my collection without a doubt okay so once again with a clean dry brush i'm gonna go ahead and take that dry loose pigment and just apply that to my already primed eyelid oh wow I'm gonna go ahead and just say this right off the bat. I think this pigment you could definitely wear dry and it'll still be super opaque and glittery and just 
beautiful looking. It doesn't look super foiled, but you can definitely tell that I have like a bright green eyeshadow on. It's definitely not like subtle whatsoever in the slightest. So I think you can definitely get away wearing this one uh, completely dry and it'll still be a very dramatic look. Go ahead and spray the pigment and use it wet on this side. That looks like Christmas on my eyelid. So yeah, they look pretty much the same. This one's just more subtle and sheer looking and this one's more opaque and foiled looking. But you could still wear this dry. Like I would definitely wear this dry. I did get some fallout down here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just brush that away so my skin doesn't look green. Okay, so here is the Zodiac Loose Pigment The Bowl, both dry and wet. Once again, for the fourth time, I gotta say the wet side is the winning side in my opinion. I think these pigments just perform way better when they're wet. It's just, it's undeniable, honestly. You can still use them dry, of course, but they just are not the same when you wet them. Like, they're just so much more metallic and beautiful and foil looking when wet. They're just, they're okay dry, you know? Like, they're just not the best and they're not the greatest dry, but when wet, oh boy. Also, another thing Kathleen mentioned in her reveal video is that these things are huge and you could honestly probably never run out of this. Like, you'd have to use this every single day for years to actually run out of this pigment. Like, once you have it, you have it for life. Like, honestly, like, you're never gonna run out of this. And for it to only be $6 and for you probably to never run out of it, that's such a great deal. Like, honestly, like, go Kathleen and go Colourpop. All right, guys, so now we are on our fifth and final pigment. Thank the Lord and baby Jesus. Oh my goodness. I hate to say it, guys. I love filming videos, but this video has my eyes so just raw feeling. I don't know how Shay does it all the time. I'm only on my fifth pigment, and literally my eyes are like, done, cancel, nope, see you later. Our last pigment is the GOAT for all you Capricorns out there. One of my best friends is actually a Capricorn, so... Hey Darian, this one's for you. I picked this color up because I thought it would be such a pretty like everyday fun color because it's still like, you know, a boring neutral brown but it has all those gold reflex in it to wear like a really pretty smoky eye color. So that's why I picked it up and what I'm hoping it looks like on the eyes, cross our fingers. So by now, you know the drill. We're gonna take the dry brush and just apply it on to this side. All right, so there is the goat on this side with just a dry brush and no glitter glue. Um. As Shay would say, this looks like a very dingy color. <laughs> Doesn't look the prettiest to me with a dry brush. I definitely don't really care for it. It looks kind of just gray and not super like bam in your face. It kind of just looks very washed out and just not the prettiest color. So I'm hoping once I wet it, it kind of is more foiled and just brings that brown and gold to life. So we're gonna wet the inside of the cap once again taking that flat brush and let's just apply it to our eyes and uh, hope for the best. Yes, 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 100% yes. Oh my God. Okay, so here we have the goat with a wet brush versus a dry brush. Literally a million and 10 times better once again with the wet brush. I can't say enough guys, I would recommend using these pigments wet for sure. They're just totally different shadows when you use them wet. Honestly, I would never ever in a million years use this dry knowing this is what it looks like dry. It just doesn't look very pretty dry. But when it's wet, oh my god, this with like a brown and black transition smoky eye. That would be such a beautiful look for like a night out, date night kind of thing. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it so much. You know what's really funny to me is that I didn't even get my own zodiac sign with this collection. I got my moon sign. My moon sign is an Aries. I do have an Aries moon. Sometimes it comes out and um, even I know when that's out. So yeah, but besides that, literally none of these are my sign at all. My sign is actually a Gemini. I didn't care for the color Kathleen picked for that. Not to be like shady or rude, I just, I didn't think it was a Gemini color or a color I would really use every single day. It was like this weird rose gold color. It's pretty, it's a pretty color, don't get me wrong. It's just not a Gemini color. Like we're like greens and yellows and like duochrome shifts and it is a duochrome color. I just, I don't know, it didn't represent us, you know? I just didn't think it was a good Gemini color, so I didn't pick it up. And if you were wondering if you're into like astrology like I am, my rising sign is a Libra, so I am a Gemini Aries Libra. It's quite a combination if I do say so myself. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this different style of video from me. I don't know if I'll do this ever again because it's not really my thing, it's Shay's thing, but I just couldn't think of a better way to review these pigments because I didn't want to do a look for every single pigment because that would take me so long and I wanted to get this video up sooner rather than later that way you guys could purchase them before like they potentially sold out you know however if you guys do want to see a tutorial with any of these colors preferably the ram or the bull 
I will be more than happy to do them. I think these pigments are really, really awesome. I would definitely recommend using them wet, like Kathleen said. I just want to try them dry because, you know, some people don't like to wet their brush. Some people just want to use a dry pigment the way it is. I just don't think that's the way to go with this particular formula. I just think it performs a lot better with a wet brush. But regardless, most of them are still pretty even without the wet base. And again, I don't have all the pigments here. I did not purchase all 12. Might have to go purchase a couple more though because Sagittarius shade and also I think it was the Libra shade looked so pretty to me. I'm like, mmm, might have to get that. Also the Scorpio, their color was really pretty too. I feel like I always love Scorpio shades, which is so weird because I'm not a Scorpio whatsoever. But I like the colors. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe down below if you want to see more videos from me. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know your zodiac sign. I'm so curious to know what my followers' zodiac signs are. I actually just talked to one of my subscribers the other day, and she had all three of the same uh, signs as me in the same order. Like, she was a Gemini with an Aries moon and a Libra ascending. It was freaking crazy. So, yeah. Let me know your zodiac sign down below. Let me know what you guys think of this collection as well. And, yeah. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.